Hi, my name is Christopher Penn, co-founder and chief data scientist at TrustInsights.ai. In terms of 2023 video trends, what we're seeing right now, obviously, is that short-form video, vertical video, but short-form video in general, uh, has really become the dominant form of consumption for uh, your average casual video user. We're talking YouTube shorts, TikTok, uh, Instagram reels and stories. And this trend obviously shows no sign of slowing down. So one of the things creators will have to do in 2023 23 is focus on creating more of that content uh, and figuring out uh, which types of content on in those short form video formats resonates best with audiences. That's going to require um, some additional production too. We're seeing some of those videos doing uh, a lot more with production, uh, constructing the videos in software like Premiere uh, and then pushing them into uh, those channels. The other thing that is a big challenge right now and could be a trend if folks embrace it is measuring the impact of short form video. Short form video in general tends to be what some creators call disposable content. You watch the, the snippet, you know, the 60 second clip, and then you forget about it. You move on with your day. It's not a piece of video that you come back to over and over again, unlike uh, longer form video. And as a result, measuring the impact of that on your brand can be challenging. One of the things that I think would be uh, of good for brands to, and, and creators to tackle is doing things like market research and surveying to see what is the cumulative impact of this disposable media on your brand. It, could your brand stand alone without it or does it help by creating presence of mind, mind share? Uh, if you're creating a lot of very short form content in addition to bigger, uh, longer form pieces, that might be enough to retain the attention and the audience uh, for uh, the between the periods of time when you're creating those longer form uh, content chunks. So those are the things for 2023 that I think are worth paying attention to. Short form video as a filler, as an attention holder, and then measuring the impact of it on your brand overall. Thanks for watching.